I admit it, I've owned a lot of router tables in my life, probably too many. I just think that a good router table can rival your table saw as one of the most versatile tools in your shop. You can do a lot of stuff with them. So it's worth doing your homework before you decide to build or buy one. Let me give you another option that just might make your decision easier because I think that this may be the best value dollar for dollar that I have ever seen because it combines a wide range of high-end features with exceptional quality at a very reasonable price point. First, the top is just under an inch and a half thick so it won't sag, and it's covered with low friction laminate so your workpiece will glide easily. There's a combination track on the front for the miter style bars that you find on a wide range of jigs and sleds and accessories, as well as anything that can be locked into a T-track, such as feather boards and various stops. The fence is very well made from extruded aluminum angle. The MDF faces are also covered in low friction laminate and are adjustable to open and close the center. There are dual T-tracks for mounting feather boards and other accessories to the fence, including a flip stop, which comes with it, and an optional accessory bar for supporting panels and other work pieces on edge. I love that feature. Another great feature are these metal bars on the back. You slip them behind the outfeed face of the fence. Then that turns your router into an edge jointer. If you've ever tried to glue up several narrow boards to make a wide panel and you had gaps in the seams, this will solve that common problem. What really blows this setup out of the water is the included high-end router lift. It's designed for medium-sized three and a half inch router motors. I'm using a Bosch, but it'll work with other brands too. The laser etched scales on top provide a visual reference for fence adjustments that make small adjustments a lot easier. And it has a lift adjuster that has a display in the thousandths of an inch. The lift mechanism is very smooth. It's comparable to the really high-end lifts that I've used. There's no backlash at all. It is a little slow. It takes 10 revolutions to raise or lower it just a half an inch, but that allows you to make very fine adjustments easily. There's also an above the table locking mechanism, something I wish all router lifts had. And of course the insert rings around the bit opening can be changed to match your bit size. It's also worth noting that the base frame is really high quality. It's made from steel tubes instead of the more common and less expensive steel angle that sometimes they use for the legs and the cross members. The tubes are much more stable and less likely to move and rack and flex at the joints that plagues those type of router bases in my opinion. Another really clever feature is the switch. It operates two outlets on its back. So you can plug your router motor into one and a shop vacuum into the other and now both can be turned on and off simultaneously. In fact, I plan to add a shelf to the bottom of my frame and then put a small shop vacuum there so my dust collection is built right in. So you get the base, the switch, the top, the fence, and the lift all in one package for a lot less than I've seen lower quality equipment sell for. If you're thinking of getting a new router table or upgrading to a real workhorse, this is definitely worth checking out. And it comes from Craftsman Gallery at chipsfly.com, which is a small family retailer in Ohio that's run by a man named Lewis Stepp. I've known him for years, and he's developed a bunch of really clever tool designs. Check them out at the link below.